Hey, Wilfredo. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great, except for a mosquito <laughs> bugging me here. Yeah. It, teacher, it is correct say he, he or it for animal, I guess, or I, I, I don't be sure that if, if, and uh, lately it is correct say when you talk about um for example animal say he or or she it depends if you name it and you treat him or her as a family member then yes it, it will be he or she that's that's what americans do you know they call it it if they talk about any dog, they don't they don't know, you know, dogs in general. Um okay. When you but make that, that question, look at mosquito wants to, to, to learn English teacher. Who? Mosquitoes. Yeah, the mosquitoes, but I, I hate them, you know. That that's the only living creature that I really don't deal with. I hate them. And they love me, that's the worst part. Hey, uh, is it correct? Don't forget it. Is it correct to say? Is it correct? Is it correct to say? Um, I'm not, you said, uh, um, you said I be sure, be, be, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I can say this. I'm not sure if I can say this. Good. So, are you working tomorrow? Can hear you. I think it's the headsets. Let me check. What about now? Yeah, you hear me? I can hear you now. Yeah. Um. Today we didn't go to job. We we have a day off because from september the last the from september to the december we are going to stop to produce we are going to have a, a shoot down all week the last the last week the every month from september to to december december what for because when the when the company reduced uh, for example, the, the sales, it is reducing. And we have to stop to produce because in the um, disease, center of the distribution in the United States, for example, they are full in their capacity. Then we have to make a stop to, to reduce the, um, for example, the, um, the inventory. The inventory. Yes. Okay. But this 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 your teacher it it is so it it was or it is so un, unstable, unstable. Unstable. Un, unstable. Okay. Because mm -hmm. after pandemic, uh, the sales. Uh, I I guess that many companies have to reduce their production because. They don't sell the same quantity about another years, and the company is it is one of the other companies that that to 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 make um, attrition uh, talking about production or another another situation. But I I hope that the next year is going uh, could be different. And, will be best for, for El Salvador. Hmm. Yeah. We, we, uh, we, have to, we have to learn another another job. For example, yesterday I received an information to work in a call center, but the, the person that contacted me by chat told me, told me if you, do you have some experience 
working in call center? You know, all? yeah, they, they look for experienced workers and, and that's not so good. I mean, they, they, they ask you that when you don't have a very good level of English. If you have a very good level of English, then, then they just go ahead and hire you, you know. Uh, but nowadays, since almost everything is to work from home, uh, they expect experience, you know, a little bit list, at least six months in another call center. Uh, and that's because they want to save the training, which is what we were talking before, right? They don't want to invest on time, their time, you know, training people on how to receive a call. I remember when I worked at Dell uh, the first time uh, I went to, to a training, there was this guy who had never been to a call center before. He was a deportee, you know, he, he was a deportee from the United States. So he had lived in there for many years, but when he came to the training, somebody said, okay, let's make, um, how do we call this? Oh my God. Let's pretend that you receive a call. I forgot the term. I can't remember the term to make a, a, a mock call. Let's make a mock call. I can't remember, mock, mock call. Mock call. What yeah. That's, that, that's like a fake call, a mock call. So it's pretending, ring, ring. Okay, and you go like, hello, thank you for calling. Da, 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 da. My name is Fulano. How may I help you, right? Yeah, mock call, M-O-C-K. So it's pretending. So uh, I'm sorry, I mistype it. So the point is that this guy Wilfred, had never done uh, a mock call in his life. So he grabbed his cell phone. He said, hey, what's up? What do you want? And we were like, oh my God, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's natural because that's the way you answer the phone, right? But in reality, the call center is just very simple. You just need to learn the readings, the pace that you need to follow. You have to apologize. And then lastly, you have to resolve and say goodbye, the closing. So there's a technique, you know, yeah. to do that. Teacher, but but I, I, I guess when if when the when if for example if the people work um, in a call center, they have to be so polite when they attend another person because um they they are always hey good morning uh, are you, uh, I talking with the uh, say yeah, the, yeah. say your name, but all all conversation it is so polite. Let, let's say that you want to, uh, let's pretend right now, let's make a mock call if you want, really quick. Um, let's say that you're calling your telephone provider to know your balance, you know, how much you have to pay. Okay, ready? One, two, three, ring goes your phone. Thank you for calling the telephone company. My name is Rafael. How may I help you? Um, I need to that I need to resolve some situation with my with 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 your service because lately I have so trouble to get connection. You have some trouble to get your connection. Okay, not a problem. May I have your account number? I'm okay. Or what's your phone number? It is two four. Uh huh. Four nine zero zero. One, seven. Excellent, okay, Wilfredo Guardado, right? Yes. Thank you, Wilfredo. Okay, so tell me, what's the, what are, okay, there we go, we solved the problem. And then I tell you, is there anything else that I can do for you? Uh, excuse me, would you repeat? Is there anything else that I can do for you? Mm, no, I, I have another situation. And right. then, yes, if, if you can help me, please. The, the, the telephone, the aparato, the device? device, the device doesn't work well. If you can change it, please. If you sure. Me, I'm sure. going to be. I can okay. see here that you have been with us for five years. You're a very good customer. So yes, I'll send you a new device. And don't worry, you can dispose the old, the old cell phone. I'm sending you a new one. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you. I'm going to waiting for your help. Okay, not a problem. It's been my pleasure. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you again for contacting your cell phone company. Have a nice day. Thank you for having me. Good night. Good night. <laughs> That's it. And there's a lot of things involved in the middle, you know, from the greeting, saying the name of the company. And when you close the call, the last thing you, you have to mention is the name of the company. That's that's called call branding. Call branding, you know, it's like the handle la, la huella al cliente que se quede pensando en el nombre de la compañía. <laughs> good, good, good strategy. Too. Strategy, yeah. Yeah, it's all about strategy when you take a call. At this point, for me, after 16 years, I I just go natural, you know. <laughs> so when, when they say their name, oh, my name is Ada Patricia. Hey, Ada Patricia, how are, how's it going? They go like, oh, I'm doing well. What about you? I'm doing good. What's going on? Oh, well, you know, my cell phone is failing. Oh, really? I'm sorry to hear that, honey. Let me see. Oh, you've been with us for two years. Okay. Let me see what I can do for you. What's going on? What 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 are the symptoms of your cell phone? Okay. It's coughing. Ha ha ha. <laughs> and they go, <laughs> you know, we make jokes. I have fun. I have a lot of fun taking calls. Yes, it is, it is. For, in, in my company is, is the um, one of the most most important values in my company customer the service first one, the firm uh, no, making phone we have some values in my company for mm -hmm. example the first one respect for another people is the most important must it, it is it, uh, the first yes but uh, the last it is um we have to make phone we are working always if you are all day or angry but it is it is so so uh, yeah that doesn't good because always i we, we have to be friendly we are ma making for example jokes because yeah, it is it is also so stressful when the people are always uh, angry over there shouting <laughs> another people down into others. <laughs> <laughs> well, and again, that's why you have trainings for, you know, anger management is a good training, actually. So think about it. Let me see. Occupational risk, occupational hazards. Guy is the office occupational hazards. I'm, I'm sure there's a way to say that. I'm sure there's a way to say that. Go ahead, little fish. Okay, guys, let's start the class doing the attendance. Thank you for the chip chat. Thank you for the chip chat, Wilfredo. A chip chat, I forgot that. A chip chat. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Not here today. Anacelmi Chévez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. No, okay. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Present. Thank you. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Oh my God, what happened to Gabriel? He was doing good. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Gabriela, not here today. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Julia Patricia Vasquez Santos. Present. Thank you, Julia. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Here. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present, teacher. Excellent. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Here, teacher. Here, teacher. <laughs> Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Sandra Gladys, not today, okay. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. No. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present, good evening. Hey, good evening. You look beautiful tonight. Thank you so much. It's Friday. Uh, you're going somewhere, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, that's nice. 
Thank so you. formal, I like that. Okay, Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Good evening, present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy, no, here today. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Say yes. Present, present, okay, present. thank you. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we are 13 tonight out of 20. Too bad, too bad for the ones that are not here because today um, we're going to start. We're going to start from scratch a new topic. It is kind of related. Okay. We're going to start from scratch, from zero about a new topic okay and it's very interesting actually but I, I want to put it in context um you know like like how do you call this when you put two things together i want to do a contrast i want to do a contrast using two videos so and you will tell me what you think about each video so the first video i'm going to send you the link right now and I want you to participate. So tell me, should we go in small groups or should we stay here and just watch the video in silence? It's like five minutes, each video. What do you think? What do you want to do? Hey, I think stay here. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna send you the link right now to your WhatsApp. The first video, just please mute your microphone, turn off your microphone, okay? Don't share your screen, just stay here. There you have the first video. You can start watching it. And it is exactly 4.50, four minutes and 50 seconds. No se les olviden encender las closed captions si no necesitan. Eh, en el WhatsApp, en el chat de WhatsApp está el link para el primer video. Vamos a ver un video y luego volvemos acá a la clase para debatir un poco sobre el video, ¿ok? May we start to check the video, teacher? May, may we start to, to check the video? Yes, please. Yes, watch the video now.
I think you may skip the last minute. Pueden saltarse el último minuto, de hecho. <laughs> Vamos a esperar a los que aún están viendo. Teacher, I cry. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> it's an unconditional job, teacher. An unconditional job, yeah. Let's wait a little bit, okay. I'm just waiting for two or three of your classmates who came a little bit late or joined the video a little bit late. I wonder, high level of stamina. Okay, how do you say alto nivel de resistencia? Okay, high level of stamina. Exerting yourself, esforzándote, exerting yourself. High level of stamina. Some difficult words around there. Okay, give me your opinions, give me your thoughts. What do you think? So number one, what is the video about? Talking about, uh, he, the, the man starts to talking about job and they start to explain them all activities that they have to do. Um, they, they, they not going to have break, lunch, vacation, <laughs> day off, but people start to, I don't know, for, when I I I saw their uh, gestures, their faces, the faces, their, gestures. their gestures, uh huh. Yes, but I I guess they 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 could think many and the man is so crazy. But when when the man told them what what <laughs> that the job is going to um, there are like, millions. Mom, yes, yes, but. My respect for all moms around the around the world because they uh, la mayoría Ma majority. majority majority uh, majority mothers. they make a good job with, with their children. Yeah. Congratulations, Excellent. moms. <laughs> it's not Mother's Day, but I, I, <laughs> I need I need to put this in context. Just let me give you the topic today. Today's topic is describe millennials characteristics. So we're talking about a job position or what do you think, Rosalina? Is it a job position to be a mother? Yes. Full-time? Yes. For example, the last week, the last weekend, I was joking with my kids because I, I was doing many things at the same time. And someone of the of them tell me, I don't I don't remember what they what they told me. And I say, Oh, don't worry, I'm a super wonder woman. <laughs> You're a super woman. Oh, well, yeah, I'm a super wonder woman. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't alone. <laughs> 
And I remember, I remember this because it's true. I'm cooking, I'm tending the clothes, I'm mopping the floor. <laughs> how do you how do you do all that, right? Yeah, You're ironing the clothes, watching watching your soap opera, talking over the phone, <laughs> cooking, and what else? Let's see, and thinking, reading thinking. reading the recipe, <laughs> thinking. I mean, and giving instructions. <laughs> giving instructions go wash your teeth okay change your clothes it's time to go to bed oh my god yeah sometimes it's difficult but we have the capacity to tell to ourselves go ahead you can <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that, that's up. amazing yeah. that's yeah. incredible you encourage you encourage others Although you you are the one that needs encouragement in reality yeah. to continue that way, right? So, is it a difficult job to be a mother, uh, Susana? Is it a difficult job to be a mother? Yeah, I have four kids. Okay. So and is it difficult? Why? It's complicated because. Um, they need time. They need very time. Your attention. You can. You need. Um, you, you need say? to be on top of things. You need to be on top of things. Mm -hmm. I need a couple. Uh, I have. You have to be, or you need to be on top of things. Okay. I need. I need help. <laughs> you need to be on top of things. <laughs> on top of things. Uh, the in the school, yes, in the school, and the food, and the healthy, and many activities. Uh, I have three, three of my my child. Children. Um, mm -hmm. three, my children um, uh, play. Um, we didn't play an instrument. Oh, they, they, they play instruments, really? Yes. And another, and one is very, he likes, uh, he likes football. He likes soccer. soccer. He likes soccer. Yeah. He's more oriented yeah. to sports, okay? So yes. what do you do? What do you do? You push them to continue or? Yes. Mm -hmm. Before. Encourage you, encourage them. That's really good. That's really good. Okay, but it, okay. Uh, let me think. Let me uh, tell you something with uh -huh. the video. They say you need it. Is 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 it's really true. when you need it's true. It's, it's true. It's true. Que me gusta más en español. Okay, it's true when they say it's a it's a job. For 20 hours. For, for 24 hours. Four hours, yes. 24 hours. 20, um, and that's the same. Um, 24 7. Is it is there a is there a 24 7 store in your neighborhood? Is this a 24 7 job? 24 7. The same as in Spanish, right? 24 7, right? Yes. And you have to be standing all the time. Sometimes bending. You know what is bending, right? Bending. Okay, bending. When you do this with your body, you do this with your body. You do this with your body, right? You bend or stand. You stand or you bend. Okay, Ada Patricia, what is the most difficult part of being a mother? The most difficult task? Um. Mm. In my in my case, I think is um cuando te were the shy yeah uh, sick oh when they get sick yes hmm. but uh, attending is all time all the time you have to be attending them oh my god taking care of them assisting them okay let's see Julia. So, 
first mother, first time mother, right? One baby, and she's yeah. one she's one year old. What yeah. what has been the most difficult task right now? Actually, the most difficult part is uh, I don't know <laughs> because everything is difficult. I am just uh, uh, studying, and I uh, and I have experience a lot of things. I just remember when she was uh, three or two months, I didn't sleep at all. So I I had ha, I have had problems with sleeping like always, but now is if she doesn't sleep, I don't sleep. So it is really hard, but I think it is a really beautiful experience. It's okay. something that it, it's going to be my first and my last. Oh, <laughs> come on. Really don't experience. say that. You don't know. <laughs> hey, but what about a training, Julia? Do you think somebody could train you to be a mother? No, there is not a uh, possible to, to train someone. Oh, uh, come to on. Be a mother. Yes. It is possible. I, I, I think you can learn. You can learn from, uh -huh. from well, I have learned a lot from my mother. Oh, but okay. It, you cannot, like, do the same things because every everyone is a different person. Mm. So they mm. have different things to do. <laughs> because I, I remember <laughs> that my mom told me, no, but this... Uh, this doesn't work right now because it is not the same thing that I, that, that, that I did in the past. So she told me that. And I, I so for that, I, I'm telling you, you can learn, but like train someone to do the same things, it is impossible. <laughs> it is possible, but I want to hear from, from others. Let me see. Thank you, Julia. It was amazing. Um, let me see another youngster here. By the way, Julia, um, well, let me see. W Wendy. Hi. How old are you? Uh, 34, 32. 30, 34, 32, 32, <laughs> okay. And Julia, Julia is like, what, 28, 30? How old are you? I'm 28. Hey, I guessed, okay, 20, <laughs> 28. So you are millennials, okay? Keep an eye on that. Wendy, um, you're a mother, right? Yes, I have a one child. One child. One child. One child. Yes. Okay. So have you gone? Don't don't lie. Have you gone on the internet to look for advice? Sorry, teacher, I, I can't hear. Have you gone to the internet to look for advice? on how to be a mother? Um, I, 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 I see the, the tips, maybe? I don't tips, know. I, I, tips, okay, uh-huh. Uh, yes, well, I, I, I am psychology, and uh -huh. for me it's, more, it's uh, easier. My career, uh, uh, learn, learn, learn. To learn, mm -hmm. uh, um, I can, I don't know, but in personal, in, in my in my opinion, personal, my personal uh, opinion, when uh -huh. you have a mother, the the topic or, or the theory maybe, no. maybe sometimes is um, is different the the the, the reality. The reality is different. Yeah, uh -huh. totally. For example. I have three, three kids. The first one, uh, my mother, you know, because I don't have, you know, my mother left to the States when I was seven. So when my son was born, my mother-in-law, you know, they had their beliefs, Salvadorian beliefs. Like for example, if uh, Christopher, you know, our first baby had um, temperature, Okay, they used to put um, a glass with an egg inside water 
underneath the hammock. Un vaso con agua, echaban el huevo y debajo de la hamaca metían el huevo, metían el vaso. Ok, so, si se levantaban unos piquitos en el huevo, era porque le habían hecho ojo al niño. So. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, okay, and what happens? Okay, so it happened. Let's give him a shower with Ruda. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyways, right? I no. run to the pediatric. <laughs> yeah, I used to run to to the to the to the doctor actually. Yeah, but here's the point. Yes, Julia said, <laughs> I've been to the website <laughs> looking for advice because there are things that you cannot learn, but let me see um why what is the difference between learning on the internet and learning with your mother uh Naselmi? did you did your mother teach you something yes i am mother for a teenager a teenager so, of teenagers i know but when they were when they were born was your mother there Was your mother with was your mother yes. with you when yes. they were babies? Yes, yes, yes. Student. Okay, so yes. did did you learn something from her? Uh, yes, but uh, the role of the grandmother is totally totally different it's to true. the mother. It is and, true. Um, no, 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 no. The baby no, no, don't, uh, doesn't, uh, no, doesn't let cry. Don't let, oh yeah, yeah. A mother doesn't let the kid cry, right? Listen, Julia. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, and they go like, no, let him cry. <laughs> oh. Let him cry. Man, yeah. she, he is, oh. he's just two, two days. I love it. Yeah. Um, for my mom, uh, my son su su uh, pain. suffer, oh, suffer, no, suffer, suffer, suffer a lot. Of. Suffered <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah. But is he is he independent? Is he yes, he's independent. Yes, he's independent, and he is athlete, athlete, uh, athletic. But yes, athlete. Um, but for my mom, it is possible she wants to give uh, the food and him and his mouth. <laughs> his mouth on his mouth, on his mouth. Okay, oh, yeah. I got you. I got but, you. Yeah. So different teacher, very we, different. We tend to overprotect our first child. We yeah. tend to overprotect our first child. That's normal. That's yes, it's normal. instinct. It's just instinct, and it's okay. In my case, teacher is the what you say, unique, unique grand son. Is my unique son? No, he's. His unique grandson for for her. Uh -huh. Es su único nieto para él. His, his, for her, he is his her unique grandson. Grandson. What, what yeah. about the other two? <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, no. I got you. I got you. Okay, Peter, so yes. My my mom say you don't have to believe, but. Uh, everything or stop believing. I don't know. I no que creer todo ni dejar de creerlo. My, That's right. Y por eso, por eso dejaba que pasaran las cosas. I was like, yeah, fine. It's okay. Más cuando terminaba todo verde, lleno de hojas. Aquel, it's okay. Yeah. But anyways, that's just the way it is. Okay, so putting in contrast, a difficult job. Can you learn? Can you be trained? Yes, you can have a great coach. You can have a great coach when you become a mother. Now let's put things in contrast. And this time, pay attention, get vocabulary, because you will 
retell the following video, you're going to retell, um, you're going to retell the video with your classmates, okay? So please pay attention. Si lo notaron, estoy eh, tomando en cuenta más que todos los que están con las cámaras encendidas. So please, everybody, turn on your camera. It's important. Si sí se puede, ¿verdad? Si están trabajando, están ocupados, don't worry. Yo comprendo también. Okay, so the next job, the next <laughs> show, the next video, it's really funny. Um, and again, we're going to do the same. Just turn off your camera. Go watch the video. Pero esta vez sí, pónganle mucha atención porque lo van a recontar con su grupo. Okay, so let's go. years <laughs> yeah, complicated teacher very complicated that's the reason because i don't use facebook anymore <laughs> oh yeah right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i prefer instagram <laughs> oh, okay my main boss teacher is a man and he is in 74 years 74 years old your your and boss he, my main boss your main boss the, the partner of the of the uh, firm and you, you, the, he C, is the ceo the ceo yeah 
and he is very smart and the open mind. And he is, as you say, Escocés, Scottish. Scottish. He is Scottish. And he likes to know the, the contact the different generation because he is the generation of the baby boomers. Where is that there? Works, we will get there. He works with generation X, X, generation Y, <laughs> and millennials, and now centennials. Oh, complicated. Centennials and centennials. It, it's crazy. I know, I know. So today we're going to learn exactly that, how to work with millennials specifically. Okay, so let me split you just for 15 minutes. We have to retell the video, okay? Tell your classmates, oh, the video was about a lady who goes to this interview with this old man and they start talking about her capacities, you know, her skills. She, she, she mentioned that she's good with social network and da 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 okay? Just tell your classmates what the video was about. Number two, any new word? You, know, you may have found okay I, I like when she starts complaining and mentioning many things many things i do skype with my friends with my french boyfriend in paris oh my god it, it's crazy okay so talk to your classmates try to get at least two new words out of this short video it was just two minutes and 50 seconds so let's talk about it i'm gonna split you for a few minutes okay Okay, let me do this. Okay. A gay video teacher? A gay video teacher? Oh, okay. No, vamos a recontar el video y a encontrar palabras nuevas si es que hay alguna, okay? Pero recontar el video con sus compañeros. Let's go. A que está la iba, teacher. Um, let me see. Sandra. En la cuatro está Sandra. Vamos. I'm good. Wait Because it's Friday. Es tú. A good day. <laughs> okay, what do you think about the what do you think about the video? It's the good reality. Yes. <laughs> Now, <laughs> nowadays is the truth. <laughs> Because all the millennials millennials knows <laughs> about technology. <laughs> Instagram, Facebook. No, Facebook no. But technology Instagram. <laughs> As you say, social network. No, yes, social, the social ne media, the social media. The social, social media, network. yes. Social yeah. media. Social okay. media. TikTok. For them. <laughs> TikTok. And, yes. And the interview, it was very interesting because the, 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 the what do you say, potential boss yeah for the inter interviewer very interviewer. formal yeah it was very formal yes yeah. and the the girl was very funny <laughs> funny the, the schedule ah yeah yeah it nowadays is it's true it's true yeah. believe me when in the pandemic when when there was the, the pandemic happened my girl wake up about around 11 I am <laughs> and I say oh my god how can you sleep many many times but yeah. nowadays the millennials oh my yeah. god <laughs> nice. yesterday yesterday we were talking with my boss because he was uh, uh, talk, talking about uh, a girl that he knows She's 28 years. She's a doctor. 
-hmm. and she traveled around the world in symposiums. Yes. Imagine at 28, 28 years. Yes. She's a medic, experience has a, a degree, a senior degree. Can, can I, I imagine, can I say a postgrado? Yeah. And he told me, uh, nowadays, uh, young people are lazy. All the time they want to be in the in the media, in the in the social the social mm -hmm. network. That's the reason because they don't um, have enthusiasm to study, to prepare for some for something, to do something in the future. Because the the distraction is very oh my god. Nowadays, no, it's they, higher. Mm -hmm. It's higher. Yeah. I think it will be our time. Hi, Pamela. Yeah. Hi, hello. Good evening. Hello. hello. Uh, well, I don't know what kind of millennials are you, that you are saying. Hey, Pamela, I am millennial. <laughs> yes, Pamela. Pamela is yeah. a millennial. You, your profile is different, Pamela. Yeah. Pamela. You are deception. <laughs> no, it, I could be. Uh, no, well, it could be depend also the uh, about the career that they have. Because in my case, I need to work around uh, seven in the morning, and it's all the days uh, during the during the week. Um, and yes, I have the different kind of things to do, and I need to. Um, I have to improve and get to my boss activities around the week to resolve. So yeah, it could be depend of the uh, the company or also also the person that can adapt to the schedule of the work, the work they need. Because uh, sometimes on company you can um, you don't have a. a a specific schedule to 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 work, but you need to uh, get the hours that you count. Yeah, but in in your sector, Pamela, do you work with a lot of co-workers of Generation Millennials? Because the the fashion uh, closet in my mind, I believe that it's possible to to need not to exactly people. Well, uh, yeah, no. not exactly. Well, in my in the, the company, uh, like maybe in fashion, yeah. But in my, in the company I work, uh, the millennials are around. Uh, there are many operators. Because I'm try, I'm working in a manufacturer when we made the clothing. Ah, okay. But in my in my on, on my department, uh, I'm only the 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 younger. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, in the office uh, where I work. It happens a lot. There are a lot of guys, um, John, as I as I am. <laughs> but I think I I I have a different uh, way of thinking. Think. <laughs> Okay, my friend. Okay. What do you think? But she didn't get some experience about job, but the last the last part I, I, I can I didn't understand understand well. But yes, the, the, the man started to ask uh, um, and making some question about if she knows. Uh, also, example, but she told told him that not. But what 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 did you send him? 
and and the the interviews is a question the what is your capacity ability the the other option and the the millennium is not war. I understand. Uh, and you, Ada Patricia? Um, I, I understand he asked if he knows publisher and PowerPoint and, and well. Snapchat. Um, Instagram, um, your capacity, her capacity. Yes. And 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 he no no. Um, estaba de acuerdo en the schedule. En el horario. Ay. Yes. Yes. I, I really, I really, I really, so I, can, I can participate. I, I, I work with, I stay con el cierre todavía. Yes, yes Susi, Susi, no, no problem. Sobre you sobre. working. No, 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 no problem. Thank you. I send. Um, in conclusion, in the, in the, a new generation, the millennium, is more and more different in the perspective and the your job. Yes, yes. Yes, new generation is, um, is different concept, the, the platform millennium, internet. Yes. O social media, concept different. They are is a focus only in technology, but in the social network is, um, but it's good, it's good, but. Uh, it's uh, good, it's good in determined moments. Uh, yeah. For no, for no always, uh, I lost time for why, why for like, why lost time? Yes. I think that, that, the, that the new millennium or new generation and the millennium is different, but uh, is easy the controller, controller, your mind. Because ah, yes. anyone, the people. Uh, control uh, the light. Yes. <laughs> because, because the, 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 uh, the. Okay, I think we're ready.
Okay, really quick. Who can help me um, defining or giving me the definition of millennial? Have you heard the term millennial before? Yes. But what does it mean or what do you understand by millennial? Um, let me see how I can tell you. Okay, in your own words. Yeah. Millennial people, uh, I, I, I guess that they are, they are all, always looking for a job. They, they try if they are agree with, with the schedule, it is the payment, it is so good. And they prefer um, homework, uh, I'm sorry. How do you Work, say? Working from home? Working from home, yes. Um, but they don't like that the whole bosses are over, over there giving direction. Instructions, but, yeah. Yes. But, Bossy bosses. Okay. Yes, I, I guess. Okay. Think about it. Think about it, guys. Um, just for a minute. While you think on this answer, I'm going to do the attendance really quick, okay? Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Not there. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Yeah. Ofelia Orellana Arce. You. You. Oh, oh, oh. That microphone. Okay. Um, Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present. Yeah. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so going back, taking uh, Wilfredo's word again. So millennials, they're always looking for jobs. Next question. I mean, what does it mean? What What's the meaning of the word millennial? If you want, you can look for the definition in Google. Go to Google and find a definition of millennial, Nelson. Someone. Maybe the people born two thousand between two thousand. Yes, in the, in the Oh, so it is a period of time. Yeah. People who were born on a specific period of time. Yes, a specific period. I believe the. the okay. Thousand. What do you think, guys? Is that the right definition? What do you have? Go to Google. What are the years? I want to hear from you. What are the years that you must have been born to be considered? Yeah, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, from 2000 to? Sorry, Sandra, uh -huh. what's the the time frame, the time period? Born year del 2000 para acá. Okay, what do you think, guys? Yeah. 
Oh, teacher, I am in a mistake. In millennials, is anyone born between 1980 and 1985? Between 1980 and 1985. Yeah, okay. Teacher. What do you think, guys? I want to hear your opinions. And the 1980 and the two, 20, 20, 23, the millennium. From 1980 to 1993. Uh -huh. 20, 23. 20, 23. Okay. Oh my God, 1980 to 2003. Oh, 2003. 2003. 2003. Okay, Adita, uh -huh. 1980 to 2003. That's the millennial generation. What do you think, guys? Wilfredo, Nelson. Ophelia, come on, Pamela, somebody. I'm reading that is since 1980. 1980, uh-huh. 1980 until 1993. 1993. You know what? I'll yeah. stay with this because after 1993, or actually in the middle, you have the X generation. Yeah. Oh, 1991, oh, yeah, 18. 18, no, 1981. 1981. Yes, 1981. Yes. Yes, 1981, since 1981 until 1993. Okay, so that, that's the uh, millennials. Yes. Okay, I'll stay with these dates. That sounds more accurate, more accurate. 1981 to 1993. So the next question, are you a millennial? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Nothing. Nothing, teacher. Nothing. No. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I lie, but not. <laughs> it's just that you, you don't identify with millennials. I, I identify myself my with... Song. I'm not, my song. I'm not, is a, I a millennial. My song. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Right now, you're telling me, no, I'm not a millennial. Yeah, I'm not a millennial, but I, I was born... I'm identifying. With you, you don't you don't identify you Me, don't i identify i, you do. I am yes yeah i do <gasps> okay so considering this there's a difference i mean if if you look at some charts on the internet you will find different definitions um, okay there are different uh, definitions charts that you can find just the way you just did right now and this this is a generation uh chart okay there is a generation chart defining uh this topic let me just open the image here there we go i just want to share with you this chart not the whole thing so just as a starting point to understand what are millennials, let's look at the following chart. So the silent, the silent generation, they are currently until 2020, they are 74 to 91 years old, the silent generation. Okay. And, and that's what that was back on the 40s, let's say. Then from the 46 to 64, we could call them boomers okay then from 65 to 80 we may have the generation x and so on and then millennials yep kind of like 1981 to 1996 they date and and why what's the difference we were raised with the millennium that's the whole thing that's why they called us millennials because we were raised on the age of computers right the world was changing oh my god i mean communications uh the tv color tv okay if you experienced the first color tv that was like wow mtv 
Right? Video kill the radio stars. General culture. Cultura general, señores. El primer video que se reprodujo en MTV fue Video kill the radio stars. Yep. It was the first video on MTV. And it was true. Hey, well, we didn't experience that. We we didn't, we were not on, I was not on the on the moon first, you know, landing, the first landing in the moon that was in the 60s, right? But we were raised with the internet, with a changing world, starting the 2000s, reaching the 2000s. Now, from 1997, after the death of Kurt Cobain, <laughs> we have the Generation Z. Generation Z. Now, now that you look at this chart, what do you think now? Do you think the girl on the video belongs to a millennial kind of culture? Yes. Yes? Still? <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I have another chart for you. Now we are going to analyze this together because I love it. I, I found something very interesting, actually. I found a PDF file that I'll send to you, to your group in a minute. Let me try to hide this. No, it's not gonna help, okay. So I'll send you this uh, PDF in a minute because it's very, very interesting. Here we go. So here, it, it's very long, actually. I think, I don't know how many pages is it? Oh, well, it's not that long. It's just 11 pages. So generational differences chart. So let's see the birth years. And here in this chart, they call them traditionalists, baby boomers, generation X, and millennials. Hmm. Now, let's see. Their current age for millennials may be between eight and 27 by the time they made this chart. Now, today's topic Today's topic is to describe the millennials characteristics. And this is a great help. So famous people who are millennials. I'm gonna focus on the millennials. Ashton Kutcher. Kutcher, I never, yeah, Kutcher, Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher. Uh, Serena Williams, okay. The president of El Salvador is a millennial too. Nowadays, nowadays, okay. He is a millennial. Um, the number of people being millennials back in 2000 was 75 million. Other names, other names that they may get, Generation Y, Generation Y, Gen Y, Generation Next, Echo Boomers, Chiefs, Friendship Officers, 24 sevens, look at this name. Hmm, por que será? Why would it be? Okay. Now, what influences did they have? Look at this, what I was telling you, the, the influences that we had, digital media, child-focused world. We used to focus on, on children, knowing that they are the future. School shootings. In the United States, uh, millennials were surrounded by school shootings, terrorist attacks, you know, 9-11, 9-11. Um, AIDS, AIDS referring to, um, you know, illnesses related to uh, sex illnesses, you know, terrorist attacks. Uh, what, what? B I H. B I H. B B I H. Oh, B I H. Uh, you mean, AIDS. yeah, AIDS. That's right, AIDS. That's mm -hmm. true. Thank you typically grew up as a children of divorce. In El Salvador, this is very typical, it's very common. I, I'm a children of divorce, I'm a child of divorce. They hope to be the next great generation and to turn around all the wrong they see in the world today. It is true. I feel identified with this. I want to change the world. Do you want to change the world? <laughs> Yes, right? You want to make a difference. Okay, they grew up more sheltered than any other generation 
as parents strived to protect them from the evils of the world. Uh, I don't know, Rick. I don't know, Rick. It sounds fake to me. Hmm. Well, maybe yes. I mean, in El Salvador, we were very protected by church, right? Religious. Religious matters were very important in our families, right? They used to go like, no, if you do that, if you do that, you go to hell. God doesn't like that. And that's that's okay. That's our culture. It is our culture. Okay. Came of age in a period of economic expansion. Globalization, right? We suffered globalization. And nowadays, even any woman at, at Mercado Central, they have cell phones, right? Everybody has a cell phone nowadays in El Salvador. It's crazy. You don't have food, but you have a cell phone. And with internet. Okay. Get busy as kids. This is true. I used to be busy all the time. Were you busy all the time when you were a kid? Doing something in the house or doing homework, whatever you had to do, you were always busy. First generation of children with schedules. Oh my God. Wake up at 5 a.m., take a shower, get ready to go to school, go to school, do your homework, come back. To, oh my God. Yeah, schedules. So these are like the main characteristics or, influ or influences. Let's see. Core values. I want you to help me with this. The core values of uh, millennials. Let's see. And we're going to to learn vocabulary today. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to start with Nelson. Achievement. One of our first core values. Well, mainly contending for core values, guys. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué entendemos por core values? Houston, Houston, we lost them. We lost them, Houston. The values um, that identify the generation. As a person, right? You identify yourself with some values. Can you mention one value that your grandma gave you and send me? I don't know. Or your father? Mm, honest and very responsible. <laughs> I was thinking about honesty to be honest. Don't steal nothing. Yes, he, not was even a, not even he, was, he was very responsible <laughs> and yeah. very honest. Okay. Perfect. So talking about core values for millennials, Nelson, achievement. What do you think? Why a millennial, a millennials uh, core values achievement? Ahorita necesito que se pongan a pensar en los consejos que le daban sus papás, sus abuelos, ustedes. Let's see if we are millennials. Why achievement? Nelson, your microphone? Yes, teacher. I don't know. Achievement. Achievement to Achievement. reach to reach a goal. Uh, wow. Mm. Give me examples. The ability. It's ability. Um, Achievement. No. The, the it's to, to reach a career. To reach a position in a, a job. Yeah, all the time that I that I they are thinking um, and studying how to be or how to obtain. Come on, that, what did your degree. your father or your mother used to tell you all the time or your grandma? Yeah, study. Study. Don't be a, a donkey, right? Yeah. Nowadays, maybe then I think maybe the millennials. Some of them want to study, but some of them I want to I want to work. I need Rosalina, to earn money. We are millennials. Yeah, yeah. So what? What? Okay, achievement. Let me explain you. Uh, all the time, my grandmother, my uncle, my father used to tell me study, 
study, mm -hmm. go to school, do your homework because you have to be somebody. Yeah. Achievement. Okay. Yeah. Avid consumers. Avid consumers. Another advice from our parents. Avid consumers. Consumidores ávidos. Wanna sell me? Somebody? Wanna sell me finance? <laughs> uh huh. In, do you believe that the millennials that are the avid consumer teacher? I always ask myself, do I need this before I buy it? Before I buy it, I always ask myself, do I need this? Yes. Nowadays, uh, I so in every, sometimes I I make myself this question: Need I this? I need this. Need this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's ten dollars. It's ten dollars. Yeah. It doesn't matter if I doesn't need. Like I buy it. <laughs> sometimes you go like, no, I don't need it, but I want it. Yeah. Also, I mean, Christmas, if you uh -huh. see a. A nice, uh, how do you say? Um, Watch or jewelry. Yeah, or something to the deco to decorate the house. Oh well, yeah. Oh, I like, <laughs> I like life of the experiences, teacher. Yes, yes. Whole life of experiences. <laughs> That's true. Okay, civic duty. What do you think, civic duty? Are we patriots? No. I'm a patriot, I think. But I, I mean, in other words, do you love your country? Yeah. Yeah, most likely, right? In my, in my way. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. In a way, you but love your country. It's very interesting because the 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 experience, for example, the night what night one one mm -hmm. in, in the United States, the generation. Uh, yes, and it's possible that the love for the patriot sign, the, the love for higher. their country, grew up. It was raised due to the terrorist attack yes. in the states. But in our case, I don't know. There's a lot of political thoughts right now. So no, 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 no. Okay, next, confidence. Are you confident, guys? I am confident. I was born confident. Very confident. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Despite, despite the the culture that I grew up on. You know what is despite, right? A pesar de, despite the situation with the gangsters, you know, where we lived in. Despite that, I grew up confident. Okay, diversity, diversity refers to the different genders, right? We kind of accept them, you know, it's okay, eh, whatever. Extreme fun or fun. And again, these are values, values. Do you like to have fun? So come on, say something. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yeah, right. Yes. I mean, why not? Now, at the same time, high morals. High morals. Do you think integrity is important? It's more important. Yes, very important, teacher. Yes. Uh, I am, I'm going to give you a gift right now because you're here. Uh, look at the chat. Um, what is integrity? Integrity is do what I say and say what I do. I do what I say and I say what I do. Think about it. Hago lo que digo y digo lo que hago. So that's integrity. Well, what you to do the right way, independent the other Independently people, of the result. No, the other people watching or see you. 
no matter who's watching, you do the right thing. No matter mm -hmm. who is watching, you do the right thing. Hacer yeah. lo correcto, aunque nadie te vea. No me gusta esa definición porque para mí puede ser algo correcto y para usted no. No, pero si estamos uh -huh. hablando de los mismos valores, dice No, no, no. Inte y... Integridad. Integridad. No, okay. Integrity is complete. Uh -huh. It's complete, teacher. It's complete. With integrity is complete is the same way in your job, in your house, in your integrity. Mm -hmm. You behave, you are the same. So if I tell you here that I don't smoke and one day you see me on the street smoking, mm, liar, he okay. He changed his mind. <laughs> yeah, it's not integral, it's not, it's not an integral person. Okay, and so on, we have highly tolerant, we are highly tolerant, we like personal attention, <laughs> we are self-confident, that's very important. Sociability, sociability. I like to I like to meet a lot of people. Okay, we like to be members of global communities. Most, oh look at that, the most, most educated, educated generation. generation. Oh, yeah. extremely techno savvy. Mm, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. I, I, now now I put my kid, my eldest kid is always repairing the cell phones, you know, and things like that or creating the accounts for Netflix. He's in charge of that now. Not me, not anymore. Okay, hey, extremely spiritual. Spiritual, yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, this is important. A core value, now, not tomorrow, now. Yeah, I want this. Now. Not just one, but let's do it. Now, yeah, let's do it now. Okay, <laughs> they are not passionate. We're passionate, that's the word. Thank you. We are passionate. Um, optimism, we're optimistic. Uh, don't worry, we'll be okay, it will be fine. Don't worry. Realism, mm, a millennial being realistic. No, no. I don't, I'm not, I'm not so realistic sometimes. And street smart, I don't know. Oh, oh, we know locations, and that is true. Many millennials, we know locations, not just because we know maps, you know, you use ways or maps, no. Then la nomenclatura, say that, you know, the street numbers and everything. Most of us are good with street smarts. Okay, and so on. I hope you read this chart. Is very impressive. You have the attributes. I'm just going to read a few of them. Uh, millennials attributes. Ambitious, but not entirely focused. Look to the workplace for direction and to help them achieve their goals. At ease in teams. I like to work in teams. I like to work in teams. Attached to their gadgets and parents. Best educated, confident, we mentioned that. Multicultural, multiculturalism, 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 <laughs> difficult words. So we like, I, I love to meet people from other countries, yes. other cultures. I mean, the way they yes. think, that's amazing. Okay, firstly independent, you know what? This goes with me since I was, 16, no, 14, no, 16, 16. I moved to San Salvador by myself with, with my uncle. I, I always wanted to live alone, you know, to live alone. I was very independent. And this, this is very important for me, focusing ch is children and family. But why, why? Because we came from a divorced family, right? So you're focused on doing the right thing. And the right thing for you is having kids, having your family. Okay. Um, focus on changes in technology and so on. There's a lot of uh, factors. Let's continue. Let's see. Family experience. This is important. Merged families, combined families. So have you seen Cheaper by Dozen? Cheaper yes. by Dozen? By the Dozen. <laughs> 
by dozen. Yes. Cheaper by dozen. Okay, yeah. Marriage families. Two divorced people get married mm -hmm. and they combine the kids. Okay. Codlet kids. They got an and this is very important. They got a trophy for coming in eighth place. I'm gonna stop here for a minute. I try to uh, and be careful with this. You may want to encourage your kids, but be careful. Not everything that they do is good. I mean, don't tell them, oh, you're amazing. Just the, you're the most beautiful person in the world. You're the most, you know, the smartest kid in the world. Don't do that. I mean, yeah, encourage them. Come on, do your best. Do your best. Yeah, that's awesome. You did great. Now I'm sure you can do better. I am positive you can still do better. And they will try to do things better all the time. Okay. Education, an incredible expense. It was difficult for us because it was very expensive. Um, let's see. Dealing with money. Earn to spend. Percentage of workplace, let me see, work ethic, ambitious, what's next? Multitasking, this is a term that you will not find in the other generations. Look, multitasking. This is a term that came in our generation on the millennial generation. We multitask, we, we like to do th multiple things at the same time. We are tennis, you know, tenacity entrepreneurial and nowadays nowadays we have a lot of entrepreneurs in El Salvador running their own businesses you know and everything so at sea entitlement workplace view on skills building training is important and new skills will ease stressful situations motivated by learning want to see immediate results so that's basically it. Um, there's a lot more, as you can see. Uh, what Will was saying, what Wilfredo was saying, their preferred work environment, let's see, for millennials, collaborative, they like to work in teams, achievement oriented. Yes, I prefer to work based on goals than just working, you know, not knowing what I'm doing. Highly creative, and this is true. I don't know. My generation has always been very creative on doing things. Positive, diverse, fun, flexible, and one continuous feedback. Now, this is important. Our generation likes to receive feedback all the time. You know, and if you don't receive feedback from, let's say, your wife or your son, your daughter, you know, you even ask your daughter, right? Hey, do you do you think I love you? Do you think I'm a good father? Am I a good father? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you think I'm doing good? Okay, great. <laughs> okay. Now, work is <clears throat> a means to an end. <clears throat> okay. A means to an end. Work is fulfillment. Work is flexible work arrangements. Yes, we don't consider a job just for the money, not anymore. We think that job is important and it must be meaningful. In other words, I don't know if you heard this trend, but they say that if your job is not what you like doing, you should quit. You should quit your job if you don't like what you're doing. It's important. You see, that's a millennial thought. <laughs> you're millennial, you're millennial. <laughs> okay and this is very important what we're looking for in a job we don't want a boring job you know we like we want to like our job um let's see uh, work liabilities just i invite you to read this a little bit more okay it's very important tomorrow we're going to talk about um how to deal with uh, the millennial generation Although, although right now, as some of you were saying in the small groups, right now the challenge for companies is to hire the next generation. 
the Z generation, I think it is. Because just the way you watched on the video, yeah, the Z generation, yeah, generation Z. Because people born in 1990s, between 1997 and 2012, they are the ninis, right? We don't, we call them the ninis here in El Salvador. Ni trabajo ni estudio, right? Yeah. Right, that's crazy. I mean, companies don't know how to deal with them. That's insane. They just don't want to do nothing. Okay. And so how did they deal with it? But, but with, with millennials, the difficult part, and we will see it tomorrow, is to manage millennials. It's difficult. Why is it difficult for millennials at work? So if you notice really quick, now do we understand what is a millennial? Can we define now using adjectives? Let's play something. Go to your chat in Zoom. Just say one word, one word that defines millennials. I'm gonna start saying goal-oriented. Can you put any adjective to define millennials? Okay, I'm waiting, go to the chat. Just write one adjective that defines a millennial. Oh, let me send the PDF as well. Okay, let's see, entrepreneur, entrepreneur, you're missing the R, entrepreneur, open to change, open to change, we call, we call that, there's a term, open mind, they're open-minded, and they are open-minded. How can, you, how can I say addictive to, to the tech or to tech? Tech addictive. Ah, tech addictive, tech addictive. Addictive, okay. addicted, addictive. Addictive. Yeah, T E D. Yeah. Very good. Tech addicted. addicted. Come on, Wilfredo, Nelson, Susana, uh, Patricia, Gloria, Walter, Ophelia. New knowledges. New, new knowledges. Run that by me again. Respect of personal time, of other people's personal time, you mean, Anna, send me? Respect of personal time. Yes, uh, the generation has more clear. Clearer? Uh, I'm sorry, clearer. Mm -hmm. Clearer, the importance of the personal time. The importance of person. Oh, you mean like, I'm a millennial. I know that I have to sleep well. I have to do exercise. I have to take care of myself. Exactly. I have to love myself. And the <laughs> time for job, time for, yeah. Yeah. I That's believe true. that. You know, that is the, true. A generation. Digital people. More, yes. You know what? In second grade, I was on second grade when a teacher used to tell us there is a time for playing, there is a time for studying, so focus, focus. Right now we're studying, study. Okay. <laughs> you just remind me of that. They're digital people, respect of personal time, uh, knowledgeable. I think, uh, see, 
Sandra was trying to say knowledgeable. It's a long word. Knowledgeable. And that's because we're digital people. We were raised with computers. We're the computer generation. The teacher. Yeah. This is one of the most important ability about the millennial people because they and they they born with a chip they were born they, with they, a chip they, they were born with, with a chip and then they they try to manipulate you because what do you they, mean? yes uh, i i <laughs> i knew a case that um the millennial um, 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 a man uh, start to work. I mean, start to work, but his his boss they um, didn't have a, a, a for example no for example office. But oh, he didn't know about. Knowledge. He didn't have knowledge about office. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When when he start to work with 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 this boss he started to make a good presentation see if he want to translate for example give a presentation in english i'm going to do it but quickly i start to work in that but they have they um found I, out I remember no no i no, i i want to say another idea about millennial they they don't Como que lo manipulan a uno porque ellos tienen como la tecnología o, o nacieron así más en este ambiente, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. tratan de, de um, for example, in, in my house, uh -huh. if I need to set or, or set in, for example, my cell phone, my, my youngest kid always, uh, give, me, give me your cell phone, start to, uh, and I, I told, I told him, I remember. Um, uh, could you teach me, please? I need to learn. No, I need to speak to you. Uh, yes, it is it ready. But not told me all the steps. Step they don't. Step. They don't want to yes. tell you the steps they follow. They yes. they are not patient. With that, but you're talking about the Z generation, because yeah, the new kids. I mean, they don't care if if you're struggling. <gasps> Beautiful word. If you're struggling with technology, we struggle. We struggle with technology. Yes. Yeah. And and you know, in the States, this is very common. Elderly, elderly people. Um, elderly elderlies are always suffering, struggling with technology, with emails. They don't know how to use a computer. They're running to trouble. They they don't want to deal with computers, you know, many of them, a lot of them. Okay, so characteristics of millennials. I think that's all we had. Hold on. Just a minute. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Simon Sinek. Oh my God. Uh, this is going to be difficult. There's a guy, uh, um, a speecher called Simon Sinek. But I, I knew I had a video about it. because this is too long, um, but I will definitely share this video with you and just skip forward, okay? We're gonna go. This is definitely the, what we have to watch. If we want to understand what is a millennial, let's watch the first five minutes of this video and then we we move on with the class because we're about to finish okay i'll give, I'll give you eight minutes just to finish the class 
take a look at that video and just understand the first eight minutes. We will continue with that video tomorrow, start the class with tomorrow, understanding, talking about this video. He talks a lot about millennials in that video. So, enciendan los closed captions, los subtítulos es necesario. Okay, vamos, let's understand.
everything you want, you can have it instantly. Instant gratification, instant gratification. Have it, has it ever happened to you? You're playing um, a game in your cell phone. Do you have a game in your cell phone? Candy Crush, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. What happens when you go to the next level? Yes, right. I feel, I feel anxious. <laughs> you feel anxious. You feel, yeah. oh my God, finally I made it. Okay, what happens if you don't make it? You feel down. So if you notice it's talking about dopamine, this, this is a great video about millennials. I like the word, I like the word numbing. Numbing. Numbing, yeah, I like it. I don't, yeah. I, I never hear. Oh no, you're breaking up. Uh, yeah. You never heard that word? Yeah, numbing. Yes, you have. Yeah. Yes, you have. Right, Wilfredo? <laughs> you have. Uh, you heard it. Let me think. Uh, oh my God, what's the name of this famous group? Comfortably known. Comfortably known. Oh my God, it's so famous and I can't remember. Hello, hello. Is there anybody in there? It's not if you can hear me. No? Can you tell me? This one, oh my God, it's so famous. I can't remember. Well, anyways, so yes, you may have heard that that word before. <laughs> Pink Floyd, teacher. Pink Floyd, thank you. Pink Floyd, comfortably numb, numb, and UMB. Yeah, when you get into a comfort zone, you go numb. You just don't want to do nothing else, you know, anything else you want. You don't want to do anything else. And, and you just stay there. Now, he said something very important during the first minutes, right? We, we are not guilty, or this generation, the millennial generation, is not guilty of their behavior. It's just their parents, right? Their parents were always telling them, yes, you can do it. Go ahead, you can do it, right? Don't worry, everything's going to be all right. You're the best person in the world. But it's interesting that characteristic, the narcissism. Narcissism, yes. Narcissism. They, they created narcissist persons, you know, in the end, because you love yourself, is what you were saying, Anna said, I love myself, you know, I don't need anybody else. I'm handsome. <laughs> Okay, I got you. Okay, keep watching the video. I'll see you on Monday so we can discuss about this video. It's very important. Look for new words on the video. Okay, try to understand it better. This guy is very smart, uh, Simon Sinek. He's very, very smart. I think he's a psychologist or so. Okay, tonight... Um, I'll stay, well, I wanted to do it open, but let me see who would like to stay. Walter, do you have 10 minutes? Teacher, just two. Yeah, see I know, I know, I know. It's just that I reached, the, ya llega al final del listado, so, quien se quiere quedar 10 minutos, so we can practice. Where is Edwin got disconnected and I was barely a few minutes with Edwin. We're, we're just going to talk in English. Rosa, would you like to stay 10 minutes? Rosalina? Okay. Yeah, let's have a conversation. Okay, okay. <laughs> let me do the attendance, guys. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here, teacher. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Was here. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Yep. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Present. Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Thank you. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ofelia Orellana Arce. 
Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Hey, good night, guys. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Thank you. Bye. Good evening. Good night. Rest a lot. Good night. Good night. Okay, okay, okay. Rosalina, there we go. So tell me, have you been practicing? I try. I try to to understand my weakness. <laughs> well, let's let's do something. Let's learn. Uh, try to use. I'm try. I'm trying to understand the present and the past perfect. <laughs> Uh, wait, the, the pa oh, I, present perfect and past perfect. Yeah, yes, yes. I was, the first thing that I do is, how do you do this in Spanish? <laughs> and then how can I do this in English? <laughs> mm -hmm. The first I want to know, I want to remember language in Spanish, no? Mm -hmm. Lenguaje, how to, how to do this? But I I am looking some I'm looking some, for I'm looking for something in the internet. Okay, and... supportive material maybe. Okay, let, let's think about it really quick. So let's see if I can make it here. Okay. Regarding present perfect, what may get you confused um, is that it's, it's used for many things, but especially for experiences. Experiences, I have, I have worked as a teacher. So in, in that sense, uh, the present perfect works in any, any, in any given point. Okay, so present perfect for experiences is there's no time, okay? There's no time for the present perfect regarding experiences. Um, and that's the, the, the what people use it for the most. I have tried beans in my life. I have eaten, oh, and this is the second used. It is most used to talk about things that just happened right now. I have, I, I've just, I have just eaten 10 pupusas. So right now, right now, I've just eaten. How do you yeah, say, that, yeah, comi? In that case, in that case, I use the ING. Mm. No, the ING? I just eaten. Oh, eaten, eaten? Eaten, yeah, eaten. I've just eaten, yeah. I've just yeah. eaten. Wait a minute. Yeah, I've just eaten. Yeah. Acabo de comer, mm -hmm. right? Negative, I haven't eaten yet. I haven't eaten yet. This, this, this is giving me headache, hold just, on. I just arrived. What, what, I'm, I'm, hold on. I just had a little, hmm. Yeah, I knew it. Why am I hesitating? Hold on. Correct me. <laughs> okay. Eaten. Okay, I've just eaten. I haven't eaten yet. I haven't eaten yet. Have you eaten? Have you eaten yet? Have you eaten yet? Okay. 
Now, this is for recently finished actions. Have you hidden yet? Now, picturing the past perfect, it's tied to the past. And I like this example. By the time you arrived, so an action in the past, before this action in the past, by the time you arrived, para cuando llegaste, I had already eaten 10 pupusas. Okay. By the time you arrived, I had already eaten 10 pupusas. Ya me había comido 10 pupusas para cuando llegaste. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, I, I, I try, I try to, to understand. I think that is the key to to have a, a conversation, but for me, it's so difficult. <laughs> Don't say this is yeah. difficult. If you continue yeah, saying yeah. that something is difficult, it, it, it will be, be difficult. It will be difficult. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I know that I try. I know that I, I can. I know that I can uh, understand, <laughs> but I need practice. Sure. Um, I, need, I need discipline. Really? Why? Yeah. You're you're not following a schedule or something? Yeah, I need discipline to 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 do the practice. Hmm. Hmm. Let me do something here. Let's see. So, clear example. Um, just gonna clear everything. And here you go. Last night, Dane and Emily danced in a competition. They danced a salsa dance. They had practiced for six months before they danced in the competition. So before that action, they had practiced for that long. They were very good. Diane or Dane and Emily, no, Dane and Emily's friends were in the audience, simple past. And again, before that night, they had never seen Dane and Emily dance. In fact, Dane and Emily had never danced in front of anyone before the competition. So again, the past perfect always happens before a past action. Okay, it doesn't interrupt. It doesn't interrupt, but it is related to a past action. After everyone had danced, Después de que todos ya habían bailado, después de que todos habían bailado, the judges announced the winners. Dane and Emily won. They were the best dancers in the competition. Emily said she had never practiced so hard before. She was glad they had practiced a lot. <laughs> so there is something uh, you can do and is look for, look for these exact words. If you want more stories, more stories like those, I love this website, it's called uh, reallylearnenglish.com. I just, solo puse eso en el, en el buscador de Google, really learn English past perfect story. Es usualmente ocupan tres o cuatro historias, Y lo bonito es que usted puede descargarlas en PDF, incluso imprimirlas. Y después okay. de cada historia, vienen una, una serie de preguntas. Uh -huh. You have uh, answered the following questions. How long had Dane and Emily practiced before the competition? Before that night, who had seen Dane and Emily dance? Entonces, ahí se puede ir practicando. In fact, I'll send you the link um, here. If you can copy it. Uh, that's the link for the PDF for that story. 
And then you can practice. I love this because this is my methodology. You have negative, yes, no question, WH question, and you have a tag question. You know, do you know, and no, wait, you know what is a tag question, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, you do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Rosalina, thank you for staying okay. with me. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try. I know that I, <laughs> that I can. <laughs> you can do it, I know. Yes, okay. Yes. It's my pleasure. Enjoy your weekend. Okay. Good you night. Too. Bye.